This community program would not be possible without the financial support of our corporate sponsors and community members. Tri-Cities Community Television would like to especially thank the cities of Port Moody, Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam for their belief and support of community television. If you wish to be part of our volunteer team, become a sponsor, or make a financial contribution to support community programming, please feel free to contact us at the following location. It's Kathy Chenna here with Tri-Cities Community TV in the beautiful Lee Square in downtown Port Coquitlam. My first guest today is Gretchen Oppenheim with Wildflower Beauty Bar, right in the heart of Port Moody's Heritage District. Hi, Gretchen, welcome to the show. Hi, Kathy, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks. So I, I invited you here today because I, I've been uh, visiting you lately and I wanted to know something a little bit different about why you decided to open up Wildflower Beauty Bar. I created it just because I wanted to create a different kind of spa experience, something more like everyday luxury. Um, everybody's really busy nowadays and everybody wants good value for their money. So yes. I wanted to make sure that it was a place that, where you knew you were going to get what you came for. Like your, our pedicures have a lot of massage, but we also do really good like work on your toes. Like everything gets clean and tidy and you get to relax. So you you know you get everything you came to do. Right, and right. I don't ever want and, people to be disappointed. And you just opened the uh, the bar uh, a few a few months ago, right? Yes, I opened it mid-August. So. And how's the uh, community been? Have they been oh, receptive? The community's been so fantastic. Um, the other businesses, the um, the residents have all been really welcoming and um, very open to um, a new business being there. That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I live in Port Moody myself, so yeah. I, I do love it, and uh, you're very close to where I live. Uh, what do you think some of your challenges have been with regards to, uh, even before you decided to, to open up uh, at your location, yeah. uh, what would you say some of your challenges are? My challenges would definitely be around becoming an entrepreneur. Like, I've worked for other people my whole life, mm -hmm. so learning, it, it was kind of an uphill battle, like renting the space and everything you're just having to learn. Like, um, you're kind of the everything. I'm not just the esthetician, you know, like I'm the social media person, which I've never done, and I'm the marketing person. So it's a really big learning curve, mm -hmm. but it's been a really mm -hmm. good one. Mm -hmm. And how are you finding balance? I know that you're a young mom and yeah. you've got two little ones <laughs> at home. And you know, you've opened up this new business. Like you said, you're wearing a lot of different hats. Yeah. You're, you're social media, you're bathroom cleaner, you are <laughs> esthetician. Tell me you're cleaning your hands in between all these things, oh, right? <laughs> most definitely, most definitely, obviously, Of yes. course, it's very clean when I go there, I, absolutely. So, so how, how, what, what's the balancing act like as a woman? Uh, I think I, I follow my own like, set of rules. Like, I, I do what I can. And then, I, you know, what I tell my clients, I tell myself at the end of the day, I'm like, why don't you just have a, a bath? And so I do. I bring, I bring my own products home. Mm -hmm. Like, I carry them because mm -hmm. I, I like them, so I use them. I try to do everything that I do for others for myself. The balancing part is that sometimes it gets done, sometimes it doesn't, and I don't worry about it too much. Like, right. when I start to feel one way, then you have to go the other way. Yes. I don't, I yes. don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Any <laughs> advice that you would give um, people that are starting out new and are not really, I mean, you worked for a company, you were an employee, correct? Yep. And now you're a business owner. Yep. So what does that look like in terms of the transition and what would be your biggest advice uh, that you could give someone who is starting out new? I would definitely say you have to do something you love. Um, if you're doing something just to make money, if you're doing something because you feel like you have to, it's not, I, I, I think that will make it more difficult. Mm -hmm. I think if you're moving forward, doing something because you love it, it's mm -hmm. your passion, mm -hmm. those challenges will be less challenging because you're doing it for yourself. Right. And it fuels you, like it just, you, it regenerates yourself just because you, you want to do it mm -hmm. rather than like, a force, you know, you're, you're fighting against yourself. Right. Yeah. So would you say that um, opening up a new business, you know, you're trying to get the word out, it's it can be very expensive yes. and we can't always be advertising or being on TV, etc. Yeah. What are the kinds of marketing things that you're doing that maybe you could uh, give us some tips on today? Um, I do a lot of stuff in the community, so uh, um, donating to any charities are really great, things that fall in line with things I believe. Um, I support other businesses, like I really am friendly with um, all the other beautiful businesses that are around me and I feel like when you have that friendship and that kinship, you all work together to build a really nice like community and I think that in itself speaks a lot because uh, word of mouth I feel is stronger than 
that I feel like it makes the most loyal clientele mm. and the most, it really brings the people to your door that should be there, that want to be there. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and why did you um, set on the location that you found? Like, why there? Did it sort of speak to you? I know that you and I, we speak about a lot of different things. Yeah. It's very different coming to the bar. Yeah. And um, um, because you're a little bit more holistic and you believe in other things, you're not just like all these chemical kind of things yeah. like that. So I sort of want to know, did you have this epiphany? Did something speak to you when you, when you, when you decided to sign that lease? Um, did the stars align? Tell, oh, me, tell me about oh, that. It totally aligned. I drove by that place a few times. It's a release sign. I love heritage. Um, yes, it's I a lovely love, heritage house. And it's a lovely community. Like, it still looks really... I love that Port Moody has such a great history. Yes. And it's an interesting one. Um, I love the industrial with uh, residential. I love the mix. And I just kept driving by the house, and one day I thought I called for fun. And he, the gentleman actually wasn't going to lease it out that year. Right. A couple of weeks later, he called me and asked me if I wanted it. And I know that other people had been looking at the space. So that was the sign. I was like, well, I wasn't quite ready, but this is, yeah, I'm ready now. You, you jumped in with <laughs> yeah, both I feet, in, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, this is kind of, this is the, this is the sign. So right, it couldn't right. be any clearer. Right. And if people are interested in finding out where you are, um, how can they find you? Let us know. Do you have a website? I do. Uh, mm -hmm. www.wildflowerbeautybar.ca. Um, and we're also on Instagram. Wildflower.beautybar. Wildflower.beautybar.ca. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Great. I do see that you have a full line of various Aura products here yeah. as well as. Tell us just quickly about uh, this lovely item right here. So that's a jade roller. Uh -huh. It's used, um, it's an ancient Chinese medicine tool. It's used for product penetration, smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles, uh, cooling the skin, deep puffing, and mm -hmm. mostly for manual lymph drainage. That's how it does all of those things. Okay, great. Um, and yeah. a little bit on the temples too? Oh, a little bit on the temples will cure a headache. Well, maybe it will. It will, it, will cure, it will cure. It will cure a headache. <laughs> it will definitely it'll, help. It will help a headache. Yeah. I think I need something a little bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> that and Advil, I think it'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little stronger. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic, Gretchen. Thank you so very much Thank for being you, here in the studio. As we heard it today from a new entrepreneur in the heart of Port Moody, um, if you are thinking about opening up your business, make sure you have passion in the words of Gretchen Oppenheim with Wildflower Beauty Bar right in the heart of Port Moody. I'm Kathy Chenna. Thanks for watching. We're Tri-Cities Community TV.